This is how a starting pinion works on a Caterpillar D2 or D4 tractor equipped with pony motor start. There's the pinion gear, pinion sleeve, pinion latches, they're spring loaded, and there's a kick out spring that runs down the center of the pinion shaft, keeps constant tension on the pinion assembly, forcing it out to the end of the shaft whenever it's not engaged. Now when you're going to start your cat and you pull up on the pinion engagement lever on the side of the bell housing, a little arm in there is going to press on the end of the pinion sleeve. It's going to force the pinion assembly down the shaft, compressing the kickout springs until the pinion latches grab onto a shoulder that's on the end of the pinion shaft. Like that. Now when the diesel engine starts, the pinion latches are going to act like flyweights. Centrifugal force is going to make them want to fly out, compressing the latch spring until they release their grip on the end of the pinion shaft. When properly adjusted, the pinion will only release when the diesel engine starts. Now if it releases too early, you probably need to do a latch adjustment. You go in through the access hole, you take this cotter pin out, tighten that set screw a half a turn, put the cotter pin back in, then do the same for the other latch, and then try it. It might take a few adjustments, but one thing you do not want to do is set that spring up too tight. If the spring is too tight, the latches will not want to release when the diesel engine starts. It could overspeed the pony motor, cause lots of damage. Now if your pinion assembly does not want to stay engaged by itself, you could have broken latches, it could be worn, same for the shoulder on the end of the pinion shaft, or the pinion sleeve may have come loose from the pinion gear.